when my aunt unfortunately had to go into a nursing home and we cleaned out everything. This was one of many items in her garage and we kept it. I don't know exactly how my aunt and uncle got it. Uh, I know it wasn't hanging in their house, but they did operate a pool hall on the town square <laughs> in a little town in Indiana. So I feel sure that it came out of the pool room because there were a lot of things hanging in there. The American League was founded in 1901 and in 1902, this was the championship team, the Philadelphia A's. So Horner did a composite photo of the team, and he was well known for this. This is Connie Mack. Uh -huh. Connie Mack managed the A's for 50 years. 1901 to 1950, he retired after the 1950 season at 87. Oh my goodness. And one reason why this team was so successful is this Hall of Famer right here, that's Eddie Plank. And Eddie Plank was the first great left-handed Major League pitcher, the first to win 300 games, and he played for Connie Mack from 1901 to 1914. So this is a great team, and it's a very rare photo. I've only been able to find one other, and it actually came from Eddie Plank's estate. Oh. This one, I'd put an auction estimate of about ten dollars to $15,000 on it. Well, that's great. <laughs> that's amazing. My grandfather grew up in Atlantic City, and as a teenager, he used to go to Philadelphia and watch uh, the Philadelphia Athletics games. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the players were very accessible back then, and uh, he had an opportunity to get with the players and actually have them sign this team photo. Wow, personally. so they signed this for him. Yes. And he kept it all these years. Yes, he did. And gave it to you. Yes. A lot of people consider the 1927-28 Yankees to be the greatest team ever in baseball, but there's just as strong a contingent of people that think that this team, the 1929 Athletics, is actually one of the greatest teams. The Athletics got started in 1901, and Connie Mack was for 50 years their owner and manager. This is Connie Mack right here. He had a championship team back in 1914 and then broke it up. Uh, he put another team together after they languished in the cellar. In 1928, which is considered to be one of the Yankees' greatest years, the Athletics only finished two and a half games behind them. And then in 1929, they went 104 and 46, and they blew the Yankees away by 18 games, okay? <laughs> They went into the World Series, they were up 2-1 to one on the Cubs, and in the fourth game they were down 8 nothing in the seventh inning. They came back and won 10-8. to eight. Next game they won the World Championship, and then the next year they repeated, 1930, beating the Cardinals 4-2. to two. So one of the greatest teams. Now I'm going to tell you why, because some of the players were Hall of Famers. If we look at this photo, and this is a panoramic photo of all the players with all their signatures. The only one missing is Connie Mack. I don't know how your grandfather got the bat boy and he didn't get Connie Mack. <laughs> you know, in the Yankees, you had Babe Ruth, you had Lou Gehrig, but here you've got Mickey Cochran. Mickey Cochran hit 320 lifetime as a catcher. Today, it's still Major League highest batting average for a catcher. He won MVP in 28 and 1934. I mean, this was a pretty special guy, so special that Mickey Mantle's father named him Mickey after Mickey Cochran. Oh Here you've got Lefty Grove. Lefty Grove won 300 games. He led in strikeouts seven years, ERA in nine years. This guy was a Super Bowl player, perfect Hall of Famer. Then you go down the line, here's Al Simmons. Al Simmons, they didn't think in the 20s was even going to become a big leaguer because he had this weird style, step in the bucket type of hitting. This guy went on to hit 311 seasons in a row and knock in over 100 runs. Then you go down the line, you've got Jimmy Fox here, who is also known as Double X because it was F-O-X-X. -X. Well, this was his first big year coming up with the athletics. And totally in his career, he knocked 534 home runs. But this is a big year for him, 33 home runs. Connie Mack, who was the owner, got hit hard by the Depression, and he started selling off his star players. Wow. So if they had stuck around for a few more years, they could have supplanted the Yankees at that time as being the greatest dynasty. Right. But still, this is one of the holy grails in collecting for baseball, for advanced collectors, because they appreciate how great these players were. Look at the condition of all the signatures. You rarely call things mint or near mint, but this has been rolled up for 70 years. If this were in so-so condition, 
competition, it would be maybe five thousand, six or seven thousand. This one, I'd put an auction estimate on of fifteen to twenty thousand, and then I'd let the dice roll oh because some guy is going to come in there, or two or three or four or five people, and say, "I have to have this because it is so special."